Welcome back everybody. The ICF portion of this mock-up is done. I learned a ton. Let me give you my top three pros and cons about building with ICFs. Number three on the pro side for me is definitely the energy efficiency. Um, there's no thermal bridging. There's uh, you know a concrete mass in the middle of two very thick pieces of foam on each side, and then you're going to add drywall um, and whatever kind of exterior sheeting on the outside. Um, you're basically you know building a Yeti cooler for a house. Um, without having that thermal bridging, it makes it hard for heat to transfer from the inside to the outside and vice versa, outside to inside. Standard construction, you've got that two by, two by four or you know two by six, whatever that stud is in the middle that is acting as a thermal bridge to allow heat to transfer from exterior to interior uh, or vice versa. So that's definitely number three and it's really important where we're at uh, because it's cold. The winters are cold um, and then the summers are actually fairly hot. It can get up to 100 degrees up there. So that's definitely one of the huge uh, pros for us. So number two on the pros for me uh, is definitely the speed of building. Um, you can DIY it um, and it may take you a little bit longer. You get a contractor to come in, a good one like ICF specialists, they're gonna come in and bang this thing out really quick. Um, of course, our place is fairly small uh, compared to some of the places that are being built with these things. Um, you know, they figure it's gonna take them a, a less than a week uh, to basically get everything stacked and poured out. And then I'm off to framing the downstairs and getting the, the, the decking down. Um, and getting ready to go vertical on the second floor. Um, and with our short construction window up there, uh, we lose anywhere from five to three months uh, every year uh, just because of access. If we get snow, um, you know, we can lose access. Uh, and this is kind of a weekend project for us. So I'm having to travel up on the weekends if, you know, like what happened this, this year, um, we kept getting snow on Thursdays and Fridays, so I would lose weekends up there because the road, roads would be just impassable getting in there. So my number one pro on building with ICFs for what we're doing has to be the durability and how solid this thing is. Um, it's a concrete wall, it's just a better way of doing concrete walls in my opinion. Um, we see huge temperature differences between winter and summer. Uh, in the winter, it can get down into the negatives. In the summer, it can be all the way up to 100, 105 degrees up there. Um, so having something that's durable uh, and can stand up to, you know, like this year, we had over 10 feet of snow that fell over the winter. Um, they can, you know, they can deal with conditions like that um, and not be susceptible to you know, damage from from water, uh, the freeze thaw, all of that is is huge. So just the durability alone of this um, building with ICFs has to be um, the number one pro, uh, especially where we're building. Um, I feel confident that Junior is going to be able to have this house. Uh, for his kids and for his grandkids if he wants. It'll still be standing. Um, don't have to worry about that. Or you drive around up, uh, up in the mountains, you see houses that are, you know, coming apart, falling down, requiring a ton of maintenance because they're just, you know, stick built. Um, and the elements just beat the heck out of these things. So um, I'm really confident in this stuff. Uh, you know, lasting for years. So let's get into the cons about building with ICFs. Uh, first one coming in at number three might seem minor, uh, but the fact that I can't reliably 
use a stud finder to find a stud uh, really drives me crazy. During the drywall phase, no big deal. All the studs are marked out. They say Fox blocks right where they're at. They're eight inch on center. Um, I, I really like the studs as far as, you know, the holding power. Um, but 10 years from now when I'm trying to hang something, uh, not being able to get in there and find a stud uh, with just my standard stud finder um, that I've used for years and works on everything else, is super annoying. Uh, they do have little magnet ones and I did notice that if you're lucky enough to run over a screw, uh, you'll find them. And that's that's pretty much how the magnet ones work. But just the regular stud um, without a screw, without going over the top, it just doesn't find it. So uh, if you know of a stud finder that works with ICFs, leave a comment below so that I can go buy one because I'm going to need one at some point. So number two on the con side, oddly enough, ease of construction was a pro. Ease of construction is also a con. Uh, we're fortunate we have roads uh, that you can get a concrete truck to our build site. Uh, it may be a little bit difficult to get them up to the house pad. We're going to have to use a pump truck to pump down the hill. Um, but uh, if you're in an area where uh, you're too far from a concrete plant, um, you're just, you know, you're down a logging road that uh, you're not going to be able to get a concrete truck down. Uh, this, you know, building with ICS is just going to be outside of the realm of possibilities, probably. Yes, you can haul pallets of, uh, of bag mix in there. You can mix it by hand. I, this little section took four bags. I can't imagine doing a house like that. That would just, uh, that would be a no go for me. Um, I just can't even imagine that. So ease of access, you need to make sure that you've got roads that will get, uh, to where you want to go, uh, with a concrete truck so that you can pour these things out. Um, up where we're building, there is one, uh, one ready mix company that will deliver to our site, just one. And there's one pump truck that uh, goes out there just because of the conditions of the roads. Um, and they're really not that horrible. So that's definitely something you got to take into con consideration before you pull the trigger uh, on deciding to go with ICF. So you need to find uh, the company that's, you know, that's going to be able to deliver out there if it's questionable. So the number one negative about building with ICFs for me, oddly enough, is the exact same as the number one pro for me. And that's going to be how solid these things are. I went ahead and turned it sideways so you can see one of the lessons that I learned uh, putting together this mock-up. Um, you'll, if you'll imagine that this is the exterior of the building uh, and my six panel is actually uh, going to sit up here um, and I don't have a way to get electrical uh, with the top plate since it flares out to the edge. I don't have a way to get electrical up into the SIPS wall uh, on the front and the sides. Our entire upstairs is just a giant open floor plan. Um, so I figured out that I'm going to have to have uh, some sort of conduit or something built in uh, to this top block so that I can get my electrical uh, from uh, you know underneath the first floor decking uh, up into my SIPS panels. So the amount of pre-planning that you have to do uh, building with an ICF wall similar to me putting this piece of conduit through there um, is huge. You really have to pre-plan every single opening uh, that you can um, up front, I, uh, I moved the location of the dryer. So now I'm, uh, figuring out where the dryer vent needs to exit the house, uh, so that I can make sure that I've got a sleeve or something built in so that I, so that that's not a, a big pain in the butt. Um, cause coring through one of these concrete walls isn't the easiest thing in, in the world. 
uh, and it requires some special tooling. Luckily, I have access to some of that, but uh, your average DIYer probably doesn't. Um, so that's got to be the biggest negative is trying to look into the future and figure out, oh, I might want to put a room addition on here. So I probably need to, you know, build this wall a little bit differently up front because I, I may do that. There's just so many things out in the future that that you don't know you may or may not want to add that uh, you're trying to overthink and, and get all that stuff dialed in. That's one of the things that we're doing right now, uh, especially since there's so much snow, we've had the time to sit there and just go over and over the plans and find little things that we hadn't seen before. That's how the dryer got moved is, you know, we didn't like where, uh, where it was at. So we're, we're moving it to another location and trying to figure out where all the penetrations are at uh, so that we can get, you know, a conduit or a sleeve. Um, you can actually put a piece of foam inside the, the ICF wall uh, to give you a knockout so that you can dig through that later. You just have to make sure that you mark that so that you know where it's at. But um, that's got to be the number one uh, negative for us is as an owner builder, we're always kind of a dreamer thinking ahead uh, about, oh, we might want to do that or, you know, might want to do this and it just adds a whole other level of complexity uh, that uh, in my head it's it's making my brain smoke right now to be honest with you so that's something to, to take into consideration I hope all these videos on the ICFs are helpful I cannot wait to get this thing going together so that we can start showing you some actual stuff in the field um, I'm just as tired of being in this garage as you are probably watching me in the garage uh, but uh, we've had some warmer days. It sounds like the stuff is melting. We're hoping that the roads are going to be uh, clear enough for us to get in potentially next weekend. So hopefully we'll have an update from the property. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. We'll see you on the next video.